Guys, hey, this is Seth the Web, and I'm back with another Flatsum video tutorial. And I have already created this video before, only today I found out something really great because it's a pop up that will be triggered after a few seconds. So let me show you. I'm going to refresh this page, and this is one of our templates that we are selling. Uh, and as you can see, after a few seconds, you will see this nice pop up, and especially when you're having an e commerce website, this could get really handy when you want to show this to your visitor um, without uh, clicking on a certain button. I'm also going to show you how to trigger this pop-up by clicking on a button. I did this before, but now, like again, I found out how to do this with just adding a little piece of code in the default Flatsome Lightbox. Uh, thank, thank you, Henrik. One of our clients sent us this uh, little uh, uh, add-on code. So uh, thank you for that. And now I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, so first of all, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you need to go to the description below and then it will take you to the member area. So to this page, I'm going to it's the create a Lightbox newsletter pop-up. And you need to scroll a little bit down and then you can find the Lightbox shortcode, but also the UX shortcode for the, that specific design that we have created. Um, I'm also going to log in, of course, inside WordPress get started and um, first of all we're gonna insert the lightbox shortcode and that's also available when you just search on uh, flatsome lightbox you can also find this on the uh, flatsome demo uh, that is online and then you can find this specific line of code that is available and I have used this one the only thing what I've did is I have added a few things like the auto open set to true, the auto timer is set to 3000 milliseconds and the auto show is set to once, meaning that this light box will only be, you know, automatically triggered after 3000 milliseconds and only showed once and it won't be shown again. Keep that in mind because if you want to see that again, you need to clear the cache, your cookies, and then you can see it. So, okay. I think I've said enough. We can make this work by going inside WordPress. And the first thing what you want to do is insert that Lightbox shortcode. And there are two ways to do this. You can either choose to uh, show this on a certain page, or you can choose to open this up on every single page in your website. So first I'm going to show you how to do this, for example, uh, on the contact page. So I'm logged in. I'm going to uh, open up um, Moi in this case. Here we go. One of our templates. And then I want to open up that live box on our contact page. And that's very easy. What you need to do is open up the UX builder. And as you can see, it was already, I already placed it to test it out. Uh, but I'm going to do it again. Just going to add a text element. And then clicking on the text element, I'm going to replace this lorem ipsum text. And here you can find that Lightbox shortcode that I have just copied here. Um, everything that is between this line of code and between this ending, this is like the ending uh, Lightbox. So this specific content will be showed inside the pop-up. Um, so I think I will just leave it for now. But... To make sure it will be visible, I'm going to change the ID to contact test. Go apply. And then now when I'm looking at the contact page, you can see it will open up after a few seconds. I, I told you in the beginning, there's also a way to open up this light box by just clicking on a link or a button. And that's also very easy to do. So what you need to do is open up the UX builder again. And then you need to take a look at your Lightbox shortcode. And then you need to have a look at the ID. And this is set to contact test, as you can see. So you need to do you need to have this specific name to be your link. So I'm going to copy this. And let's say this is the button. Ah, it's a little bit strange. So let's create a new button. Here we go. I'm just going to say open pop-up. And then... Uh, down below here, I will put the link. 
And not only putting the ID or name, just you need to add in the hashtag to make it work. So add in that hashtag, make sure the name is connected to that same ID that I have here. And then it should work. Apply, update, closing it. And now when I click on it, it will also open up that light box. So that's a very easy way to open up that light box through a button when people maybe already clicked the auto open pop-up away. So now I'm going to delete this button because it's not needed in our template demo preview. I'm also going to delete this light box. So now you know how to place this in a certain page because one of the main reasons could be that you don't want to have a very heavy loading time because when you're placing a script, like a contact form script inside that light box, it will take loading time. Uh, so maybe you want to only show that on certain pages and not throughout your whole website. All right. So next thing, we do want to have that on every page. So how this works is just getting that paste, copy pasting that coding code again and then going to WordPress going to Flatsome Advanced. And then here you can find, I already placed it at the footer script. So I think I will just change the ID again, saying pop-up new. And then I'm not sure if it will work because maybe it will be still inside my cache. So let's see if it will open up. No, so probably I need to clear my cache and then refresh. And as you can see, it's working. Okay, so now you know how to place, and it didn't even matter which kind of place, uh, which kind of page I opened, because placing it in the footer script, it will be placed this specific script on every single page. So now the last thing is, I created already a very nice design for you that you can use, and that you can also find on the member area. And then you can just copy, Copy this specific UX shortcode. And then probably I need to log in again. Right. Here we go. And we're going to create a new UX block. Calling this pop-up newsletter. Go. Paste it in. Make sure you're in the, vis in the text view instead of the visual view. Because it will give you problems at pasting in shortcode. Click on publish. And that will give you a nice UX block shortcode that you can find here on the right side. You can also find this at the UX block section. So uh, where is it? The pop-up newsletter. Here you can find that shortcode that will make this UX block visible. So I'm going to copy this, going to Flatsome Advanced, and I'm going to place this code inside my light box. So here, I'm just going to make sure you can really see what I'm doing. So this is the Lightbox script, and I'm going to place it inside here. And I'm just going to tidy it up a bit. So there are a few things to take in account to know is this is will be set the width of your Lightbox. And if you want, you can even add some padding on the top, bottom, left, and right. But for this specific design, I don't want any padding around my UX block. So I probably I will keep it at 500 pixels. I'm going to save it. And now, of course, I need to probably clear my cache again. But now when I'm re refreshing my page, you can see it will open up automatically and it will have a nice design ready for you. And you can replace this line of text with your uh, preferable plugin that you will use for your form. I like to work with Gravity Forms. Contact Form 7 is out there as well, but um, yeah, I personally prefer Gravity Forms. So I think this covers it. Um, again, it will the, the tutorial link is in the description below if you're watching this video on YouTube. And if you have any questions, leave them at our uh, member area because we are much more active on our member area instead of YouTube. Right, so thank you for watching again. Hopefully this really helps and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.